Last week, I started and finished pretty quickly because it's not too long of a series. The Crow. It's funny because I heard about this comic, about the movie in the past, here and there. And I forget the guy's name. If I knew it, I'd, I'd mention him. I just saw a TikTok video about, like, this guy's top ten favorite comics. And The Crow was number one. So I figured, might as well give it a try. And I did. And I really, really enjoyed it. It's really dark. It's really edgy, honestly. But once you finish it, get the full story. And honestly, once you get the behind the scenes story. I, I want to make a couple videos going really in depth about the character, the comic. I want to watch the movie because I've heard the movie is good. And it's funny, the movie has such a tragic tale associated with it as well. But I just find it really interesting how there's so many different parallels with, you know, the stuff that happened in real life and the stuff that happened in the comic. But I, I just love The Crow. I thought it was a great comic. Can be a little gratuitous sometimes, like, <laughs> in terms of... <laughs> just reminders of Berserk in terms of the content, the violence, the graphic nature of everything. But if you ask me, the reason why I defend Berserk and say it's art is because I believe... <sighs> it's, such a, it's such a touchy topic and it's hard to talk about. You could argue that it's not done tastefully, but I would argue that it's for the author's vision. And it's not being hateful, you know? It's just what the author wanted to create in, in their vision. So read The Crow, though viewer discretion is advised. And uh, yeah, I definitely want to go super in depth into it in a couple videos, but that'll take some time.